Hi friends, I am here to describe a CSCN method. Now coming to the introduction. SCSCN method is developed by Soil Conservation Services SCS of USA in 1969 and it is a method of estimating direct runoff depth. Next is the equation. Q equal to P minus IA the whole square divided by P minus IA plus S where Q is the daily runoff from the catchment and P is the daily rainfall. IA equal to lambda into S where IA is the amount of initial abstraction and S is the potential maximum retention. It is given by the equation S equal to 25400 divided by CN minus 254 and for P less than or equal to lambda S the runoff is 0. Next is the determination of CN. It is based on three factors such as soil type, land use or land cover and antecedent moisture condition. First of all soil type. Group A soil is for low runoff potential. Group B so is for moderately low runoff. Group C soil is for moderately high runoff and group D is for high runoff potential. Now second thing is antecedent moisture condition. For AMC 1 it is based on dry soils. AMC 2 is based on average conditions of soils. AMC 3 is based on surface sufficient rainfall. For AMC 1 the formula is CN1 equal to CN2 divided by 2.281 minus 0 0.01281 into CN2 and for AMC3 the equation is CN3 equal to CN2 divided by 0 0.427 plus 0 0.00573 into CN2. Next is the value of lambda. Lambda is 0 0.2 in standard conditions. That is, equating the value of lambda in the main equation, we get Q equal to P minus 0 0.2 as the whole square divided by P plus 0 0.8 in S for P greater than lambda S. Now, second condition, lambda is 0 0.1. It is applied for black soils under AMC of type 2 and type 3 where the equation becomes q equal to p minus 0.1 as the whole square divided by p plus 0.9 into s for p greater than 0.1 s. Now the third condition is lambda is 0.3. It is applied for black soils under AMC of type 1 and for all other soils having AMC of types 1, 2 and 3. And where the equation becomes Q equal to P minus 0.3 as the whole square divided by P plus 0.7 S in S for P greater than lambda S. Now second condition lambda is 0.1. It is applied for black soils under AMC of type 2 and type 3 where the equation becomes Q equal to P minus 0.1 as the whole square divided by P plus 0.9 into S for P greater than 0.1 S. Now the third condition is lambda is 0.3. It is applied for black soils under AMC of type 1 and for all other soils having AMC of types 1, 2 and 3. And where the equation becomes Q equal to P minus 0.3 S the whole square divided by P plus 0.7 S.